everyone and welcome back to another video. Hi, I'm Emma if you're just joining and yeah, I do nails. So <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. Somebody um, inboxed me um, on Facebook and said it would be lovely for you to introduce yourself properly on YouTube instead of just saying hello, we'd like to know more about you, etc, etc. But I'm not good at that sort of stuff. I get all mm. flustered. But yeah, I'm Emma. I live in Lancashire. Um, and yeah, I do nails from home. I have a six year old daughter, I work full time, I have a partner that I've been with for 18 years, and yeah, that's about it really. Nails is my life, <laughs> there's not much to report, but yeah, thank you so much for taking an interest in me. It's very nice, it is like it goes sort of on a personal level, so. Hello to you. I won't mention your name in case I embarrass you or anything like that, but yeah. Yeah, so hi, I'm Emma, and welcome. Thank you for joining us. So, let's get on with the set. So, God, I'm glad that's out of the way. So, yeah, um, Katie, one of my favourite clients. We shouldn't have favourites, but she definitely is one of them because she always has beautiful nails and loves crazy designs and lets me just do whatever I want. So, yeah, they are the best clients to have. Um, yeah, so I don't take it for granted at all. <laughs> She's one of them that just comes in, picks a colour, picks a few glitters and says, okay, work your magic, do what you do. And it's great, you can just have free reign. But these were actually a set that she saw on Instagram. So yeah, we've um, got some inspiration. I don't even know who it is. It was a screenshot she sent me. I can't see a name on it. So if anybody does know the original creator of this design, or one that's like it or anything like that because I've just used it as inspiration I've not copied it exactly but yeah I don't like it when people don't credit people for their work when they've used it so I would like to tag them in this video if anybody knows who it is that would be fab so yeah after waffling on for the first two minutes I will get into the video and let you know what I'm doing so <laughs> god sake Emma so on the pinky I went in with coconut milk I've done all my usual prep it is an infill and redesign so I've taken off all of the previous design, I've gone in with full prep, I've infilled the nails with Crystal Glass Clear Acrylic by CJP with my Liz Guild brush and the one monomer and I'm just going in with design. So on the pinky I went in with coconut milk at the free edge because we're going to do an ombre with a more. On the ring finger and the index finger I've done, it looks as if we're doing a glitter fade but it's sort of backwards. So we're gonna do an ombre with the coconut milk. I'm gonna bring the white from the cuticle and fade it over the glitter. So you get that nice sort of effect as if the glitter's popping out through the tip. Um, like, I'll tell you what I could say. I could say it's like a milk bath glitter. <laughs> Cause they all seem to be in at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, we're going for that. We'll just, we'll just call it that. A milk bath glitter fade. <laughs> thing okay so yeah that's what we're doing on those and on the middle finger that's just going to be a french fade and ombre with pink and white so these two colors together are absolutely stunning i love coconut milk and amore together they're beautiful they blend so lovely so as always with an ombre i start at the cuticle area place my bead tuck it all around and pat it around so i know i've got it nice and neat and then start pulling from the front of that bead to create that nice blend over the white. I was battling with glitter a little bit though because I was naughty. I should have done these nails first, but no, I ended up getting glitter everywhere. It was driving me crazy. So yeah. <laughs> so here I'm coming in with that, let's call it the milk bath glitter. Glitter milk bath, yeah. Aren't those nails stunning that everyone's doing at the moment? The flower milk bath nails. <gasps> They're so pretty. None of my clients want them though. I've tried. I've tried a few. So yeah, we're going to just bring that gently. Now I panicked on this one. I've never done this before. So I was like, oh my God, get it off, get it off. It's covering all my glitter. Quick, whipped it off. And then sort of, because I applied way too much product. Definitely did. I, I sort of picked up the same amount as I would a normal ombre. 
and that's definitely not what you want to do with this sort of design because you end up covering all of your sparkly glitter. So I just took my clean brush with a little bit of monomer and sort of brushed it back and pushed it off the glitter a little bit. And then neatened it all up with the tip of the brush. And then I go in with the second bead just to make it nice and opaque, that white at the back. And then pull it over to create more of that ombre. So yeah, I'm going to do the same design on the index finger as this nail and then a normal pink and white French fade, normal, you know what I mean, a French fade, a pink and white, bleh, oh for God's sake, I'm going to come on, sorry, it's very light, yes, an ombre on the middle finger, <laughs> and then on the thumb, I'm going to go in with a glitter fade, so I start with a mall at the cuticle area, and then tap into my gorgeous glitter, this glitter is a really chunky, beautiful one, I think I've already used it in one of my videos, it's called Champagne Spritz and it's from Smiley's Glitter Store. You can find her on Facebook, Serving Agent or eBay. She has some stunning glitters. It's a really nice multi-cut glitter this as well. It's got like holographic pieces and really sort of light gold chunky hexes and it's, it's lovely. It's got all sorts in it. So I've not left my capping in the nail in, in this video because it was way too long. I've left all sorts in this video for you because I've been asked a, a few things to leave in. So I've capped the nails after I'm happy with the design in clear acrylic, as you can see on the ring finger. And yeah, I've left some um, e-filing, finished filing, in this video towards the end as well. Once all the nails are capped and dry. I've been asked to leave some finish filing in when I use my e-file. So I've left that in for you. And there's some crystals and things like that. I actually got the new crystallies from CJP so I'm excited to share that with you and my review and what I think of it because I've never used anything like that before. I've always used my dotting tool and that's like my safe zone. Like I just always go to my dotting tool. But I was sick of the glue sort of dull in the top of the crystals. So yes, I found it very easy to use. It was fab. It takes some getting used to though. But yeah, we got there and we did it. So yeah, I'll just let you watch this and I'll do exactly the same design on the other hand. Feel free to skip forward to the filing if you want because it is just the same. Um, but I know most of you like the longer videos so I've left everything in for you. So yeah, I'll be back soon.
Okay, so once all the design is done, I'm gonna go in and cap all of the nails in crystal glass clear acrylic, allow them to dry, and then I go in with my usual filing routine. So here I am, I've left in some filing with my e-file. I'm using a medium carbide drill bit, and I've got my drill on, well, e-file, on a medium speed, so about a 15, so it doesn't stick and jag or anything like that, but it's not going super fast, so it's gonna take chunks out of the nail. So yeah, I just go in and use this just to sort of smooth out all of my product, remove any bulk if I've used too much, because I am a nightmare for capping in too much clear acrylic. So I remove any bulk with that and seal in all my cuticle area just to prevent any lifting so it's nice and flush from the cuticle to the enhancement so there's no sort of ridge there because that can cause lifting as well. So you want that nice and sealed off. I go underneath the free edge just to put in my C curve a little bit again. The file is brilliant for that. And yeah, I'm gonna do this on all the 10 nails. I've only left one hand in and I have sped it up a little bit but hopefully you'll be able to see sort of how I use it and what I do. So there I'm going very carefully around the cuticle. Obviously only use an e-file if you are trained and you know, you're confident enough to use it. I would highly recommend getting some proper training. So yeah, I'll just let you watch this and then after this I go in, I haven't left this in as well because I mean this would take forever this video, it's so long, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but um, yeah it has been requested, I like to leave in things that people ask me to do, so hopefully this helps some of you, and yeah um, I've not left any hand filing in but I do go in and finish file with my hand file, just to perfect all the shapes and sort out all the side walls and free edge. So yeah, go in and buff all the nails, smooth them all out so they're all beautiful, remove all the dust and then I'm going to go in with some bling. So I have left this in for you again because I'm using the um, new little tool that I've purchased from CJP. So I think it's called Crystal Ease. I am still rubbish, I still haven't had a look properly but it's this crystal picker up a waxy thing that looks like a crystal katana. And it was so good, it did the job so well. So yeah, I've left that in so you can have a look at that. And I'll be back when we top coat. So I'll just let you watch.
Okay, so once all the crystals have been applied and I'm happy where they are and they're all nice and set in my CJP Gripper Glue, I'm going to go in with my favourite top coat as always and it's the CJP Tack Free Top Gloss. It is beautiful, so shiny and stays shiny. I love it. So yeah, these will cure in my LED light for 60 seconds and then I'll apply cuticle oil when they've all cooled down. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing this set. It was something a little bit different. I hope you really enjoyed watching it too. Um, I know this was a bit of a long one, but I, I do like to get everything in as much as I can in a real time, as much as I can as well. Um, so you can really see how things work and what I do. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, please, please subscribe or give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and let me know if you want to see something and I'll try and do it for you in another video as well. So yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching. There's pictures at the end of the finished design. You can see everything all together. I think these are so pretty. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye everyone.